All right, welcome back to one more edition of Boxing Ayarete. All right, so um, I'm going to be talking about the whole Broner-Thurman situation. So basically, um, for the past couple of days now, um, there's been a lot of uh, dick riding of Broner. Um, people have been jumping on that wagon and, uh, you know, you could kind of say it's kind of deserved. Um, let me explain. So, basically what's been going on is, you know, in the whole build-up of the fight, if you guys recall, which I, I'm sure y'all have, um, Thurman, in different occasions, has brought Broner's name, you know, in, in the mix. And, you know, basically saying, oh, I'm not Broner, uh, I'm gonna put hands on this boy, you know, he got T-Rex arms, you know, doo -doo 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 -doo, you know, doing his thing. So, um... He he kind of Thurman kind of put himself in that spot, you know, and we kind of also put him in that spot because we kind of did feel that he's not Broner and Broner, you know, doesn't throw punches and this and that. But <clears throat> one thing that I did notice though, on fight day, Thurman did an interview, and he was doing this. He's getting, he was getting his hair braided before the fight. And they asked him about, um, you know, has he had any approach by anybody or anything like that. And he mentioned Broner. That Broner had approached him and he was looking out for him and, and stuff like that. Then there was a video that came out of Broner even saying that, you know, that the dude was out gambling late. And that he was telling his, you know, his partners, hey, you know, get this, you know, get this boy inside, you know, he got to fight, you know what I'm saying, like, y'all need to look out, you know, y'all gonna change, he's gonna change his life, and, you know, in one moment, y'all fucking this up for him, but, you know, no one really knows exactly what goes on in those things, you know, it's he or she, so, but there are reports and there are videos and all this shit, so, <clears throat> then, after the whole aftermath, Broner comes out and he makes a statement, which is says here it reads, let me see, let me go down here to the quote. <laughs> it says, Thurman got cooked. He told you he not Adrian Broner. He not A B. He already said it. He got cooked. Broner said, "I'm gloating last night following Thurman's loss to Pacquiao. He was going to quit." So, Broner kind of went in on him, you know, being Broner. But like I said, this was also, you know, Thurman kind of asked for this shit. You know who you fucking with. You know who you're you know you talking shit to. So, it's like, you know they're going to get on it if you fuck up. So, you fucked up. So, now, basically, a lot of questions are lingering you know, on who did better. Personally, on my opinion, this is my personal opinion... I'm going to give you guys my outtake. To me, Thurman did better. Um, yes, uh, Broner did not come up with a scratch. He looked good. You know, yeah, because he went in to fight a defensive fight. You know what I'm saying? He was in there to, to survive, basically. Like, I didn't... And there was no time in the fight where I saw Broner really, really committing to trying to maybe knock Pacquiao out or... or or even, like, you know, do a really great performance. Thurman did. Thurman came to fight. There's reports that Thurman has landed the most punches on Pacquiao ever. And, and since ever, you know, in any other fight. You know, so it's like... Man put hands on Pacquiao. And you can see it in Pacquiao's face, too. Pacquiao's face wasn't, you know, super clean. He had a couple bumps and bruises. I saw a bloody nose, you know. It was times, you know, he 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 saw it. I saw I saw facing him too. I even go to the part I like I said in my other video, I even feel that Pacquiao was kinda hurt in the tenth round. Yeah. Yes I do. So there's a lot that Thurman accomplished that Broner didn't accomplish. You know what I'm saying? So to say that Broner did a better job just because he looked clean. No, that that's not a fair statement, um, at all. Especially the Thurman who came in to win a fight, who came in to try to knock out a legend, but you know fell short. 
So that's basically what's going on with that. Um, now, what needs to happen next? Now, this is where things I feel get very interesting. I feel that now things are on Thurman's port, on Thur Thurman's court. <clears throat> Now, the reason why I say that is because if I'm Thurman, I stop that bullshit talking about saying, oh, I'm not going to fight until maybe next year. No. If you're going to fight, you should fight this year and actually call out Adrian Broner. Show the world why you did better and show the world why you deserve a rematch. Because Broner over there talking shit too about he deserves a rematch. So, hey, why don't y'all two fight? And the winner gets Pacquiao in, in in January. I think that's a hell of a hell of a, a hell of a fight because you got Errol Spence tied up this uh, coming up summer. Then, if you want, look, you even make it more interesting. Do a little other little, little on the ground tournament. You know what I'm saying? Um, you can do that, right? And then the winner of Sean Porter uh, Errol gets Danny. In early, in early January or maybe March, and then big fucking fight in September between the winner of those two fights, between the winner of Pacquiao and the winner of Thurman Broner, and the winner of uh, Errol Spence, Porter, and Danny. You know, it's like a little three-way kind of tournament shit. Meet all in September, and boom, that's 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 that's, that's one way to go. You know, but. If I'm if I'm Thurman, I'm pushing the fight against Broner, and I'm pushing it for this year. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Hit me up uh, on social media, boxing. I got at the Instagram. Um, please subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button, and keep sharing this video. Thank you.